Welcome, fellow travellers on this journey we call existence. You know, the universe is filled with more wonders than we can possibly imagine, from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies. And today, we're going to unlock some of its secrets. Consider the bizarre world of quantum mechanics, where particles can be in two places at once, or look into the depths of space, where black holes warp time and space itself. Let's begin our voyage. Let's talk about the bizarre world of low-temperature physics. You see, most substances, when cooled down enough, transition from a liquid to a solid state. We call this freezing, right? Water turns to ice, molten metal solidifies. But then there's helium, the rebel of the periodic table. You can cool helium down, down, down to just a hair above absolute zero, the lowest temperature theoretically possible. And guess what? It remains a liquid. Now, absolute zero is a frigid minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 273.15 degrees Celsius temperatures so low, they're unimaginable in our everyday experience. It's the point where atoms and molecules should theoretically have the least amount of energy. Yet, helium dances around this threshold, refusing to freeze. This is due to a quantum mechanical phenomenon known as zero-point energy, a sort of residual energy that prevents atoms from completely stopping their motion. Helium's case is a fantastic example of how the universe often operates by rules that defy our everyday intuition. We've all seen it. That smoky, ethereal substance used to create fog at concerts or keep things chilled. It's dry ice, and it's way cooler than its name suggests. You see, dry ice isn't frozen water. It's something far more intriguing. It's actually solid carbon dioxide, the same gas we exhale with every breath and that plants use for photosynthesis. Under normal atmospheric pressure, carbon dioxide exists as a gas. But when cooled to minus 109.3 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 78.5 degrees Celsius, it undergoes a fascinating transformation called sublimation. Instead of melting into a liquid like regular ice, it transitions directly from a solid to a gas, bypassing the liquid phase altogether. This unique property is what gives dry ice its characteristic smoky effect. As it sublimates, it releases cold carbon dioxide gas, which condenses the moisture in the surrounding air, creating a miniature cloud. It's science at its most visually appealing, wouldn't you say? Today we're diving into the bizarre world of physics in the vacuum of space. One of these phenomena is called cold welding. In space, metals bond permanently without air. Imagine that just by touching, two pieces of metal become one. This has significant implications for spacecraft design. Imagine building structures in space just by bringing components together. Black holes. Cosmic monsters devouring everything in their path. But black holes aren't actually black. They're invisible. Gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. No light escapes to reach our eyes. We see the absence of light where the black hole resides. We detect black holes only by their interaction with surroundings. Time, the relentless river that carries us all forward. We experience it as a constant, an unwavering metronome. But time can speed up or slow down depending on where you are in the universe. Einstein's theory of general relativity revolutionized our understanding of gravity. Gravity is a curvature in the fabric of space-time. The stronger the gravitational pull, the slower time flows. Time moves slightly faster at higher altitudes than at sea level. The universe is a far stranger and more wondrous place than we could ever have imagined. Let's turn our attention to the wonders of biology. And where better to start than with the smallest flowering plant on Earth, the wolfia. This remarkable plant is so incredibly small that it's roughly the size of a grain of rice. Imagine that, a fully functioning plant smaller than a single character in a book. Now you might be thinking, how can something so small even photosynthesize? Well, these tiny wonders float on the surface of still water, maximizing their exposure to sunlight. They're like the cosmic surface of the plant world, riding the waves of light. 
The wolfia is an example of the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. It reminds us that even in the smallest of packages, nature can pack a powerful punch of awe and wonder. We humans, we're a bit uptight about our breathing, aren't we? It's nose in, mouth out, and that's that. But the animal kingdom, well, it's full of surprises. Take, for instance, some species of turtles. You heard me right, turtles. These shelled reptiles have evolved a fascinating trick, a way to breathe through their rear ends. Now, before you go thinking they're passing gas in reverse, let me explain. This process, known scientifically as cloacal respiration, allows certain turtle species to absorb oxygen from the water around them, directly through their... Well, you get the idea. This adaptation is particularly useful for turtles living in muddy or stagnant water where oxygen levels might be low. It's like having a built-in scuba tank, allowing them to stay submerged for extended periods. So the next time you see a turtle, remember, there's more to these creatures than meets the eye, or in this case, the nostrils. Evolution, it never ceases to amaze, does it? The human body, a universe unto itself, composed of trillions of cells, each with its own unique function. It's a symphony of biology, and like any good orchestra, it has its high notes and its low notes. In this case, we're talking about size, and the human body boasts a remarkable range. On one hand, we have the largest cell in the human body, the female egg, a single cell visible to the naked eye, a tiny sphere teeming with the potential for life. On the other hand, we have the smallest cell in the human body, the male sperm, a streamlined marvel of nature, millions strong, each carrying the blueprint for a new generation. It's a tiny torpedo driven by a single purpose to seek out and fertilize the egg. The difference in size between these two cells is staggering, an example of the power of specialization and the incredible diversity within our own bodies. It's a reminder that even at the most fundamental level, life is a story of contrasts and intricate connections. We humans like to think we've got this planet figured out. We've conquered mountains, explored jungles, and even ventured into space, but there's a vast, mysterious realm right here on Earth that remains largely untouched. Our oceans. Think about that for a moment. Over 70% of our planet's surface is covered in water, and yet we've only explored a tiny fraction of it. It's like having a whole library of knowledge, and we're just peeking at the first few pages. What incredible creatures lurk in the inky blackness of the ocean depths? What secrets do these underwater ecosystems hold? The truth is we've barely scratched the surface. Every expedition into the deep brings back new discoveries, new species and new insights into the interconnectedness of life on Earth. It's a humbling reminder that for all our technological advances, we're still just small specks in the grand scheme of things and there's still so much left to learn about the pale blue dot we call home. We often talk about the vastness of space, the billions of stars and galaxies out there. But have you ever stopped to consider the sheer abundance of life right here under our feet? Specifically, ants. These tiny creatures are everywhere, and I mean... There are estimated to be 10 quadrillion ants alive at any given moment. That's a one followed by 16 zeros. To put that in perspective, for every human on Earth, there are roughly 1.6 million ants. Imagine that for a moment, a million and a half ants for every single one of us. Now, you might think of ants as simple pests, but they are far from it. They are sophisticated social insects with complex communication systems, intricate underground cities and a work ethic that would put any human to shame. They are master architects, farmers, and even soldiers, all working together for the good of the colony. These tiny creatures play a vital role in our ecosystems, from aerating the soil to dispersing seeds. They are a testament to the power of collective action and a reminder that even the smallest creatures can have a huge impact on our planet. We often think of time as a constant, something that marches on at a steady pace. But the reality is far more dynamic, especially when you consider the cosmic dance between Earth and its celestial neighbours. Our planet's rotation, the very thing that defines our days and nights, is not as constant as we might perceive. 
Earth is engaged in a gravitational tug of war with the Moon and the Sun. This cosmic dance has gradually slowed down Earth's rotation over billions of years. We're talking about subtle shifts measurable in milliseconds per century. Earth's rotation is slowing at a rate of about 1.7 milliseconds every hundred years. Over millions of years it adds up. Back in the age of the dinosaurs, a day on Earth was only about 22 hours long. And as Earth's rotation continues to slow, our days will continue to get longer, albeit very, very slowly. You know, we've all gazed up at the moon, that celestial nightlight in our sky, but have you ever stopped to think that we only ever see one side of it? It's like it's hiding a whole other half from us, which, well, it is. This phenomenon has fascinated sky gazers for centuries, leading to countless myths and legends. But the scientific explanation is just as captivating. You see, the moon is tidally locked to Earth. That's a fancy way of saying its rotation period and orbital period are synchronized. That has happened because of tidal breaking while moon was still hot and liquid. Imagine a waltz where the moon is always facing its dance partner, Earth. As the moon twirls around us in its orbit, it also spins on its axis. And these movements are perfectly in sync. It's a delicate gravitational dance that's been going on for billions of years. So the next time you look up and see the man in the moon, remember, he's stuck that way, forever staring back at us. And who knows what wonders lie on that hidden side, forever turned away from our view. We humans, we tend to think we're pretty special. And don't get me wrong, we are. But when you look at the bigger picture, the grand tapestry of life on Earth, you start to see the connections, the threads that bind us to every other living thing. Take DNA, for example. This microscopic blueprint of life, this intricate code, reveals astonishing similarities between seemingly disparate species. Did you know that we share a whopping 98.7% of our DNA with chimpanzees? Our closest primate relatives, a testament to our shared evolutionary journey but it gets even more mind-blowing. We also share about 60% of our DNA with bananas. Yes, those yellow, potassium-rich fruits you enjoy for breakfast. It might sound absurd, but it underscores a fundamental truth. All life on Earth arose from a common ancestor, a single-celled organism billions of years ago. We are all connected, from the smallest microbe to the largest whale, through this intricate dance of DNA. It's a humbling and awe-inspiring thought, reminding us that we're all part of this grand cosmic narrative, this magnificent web of life. Now let's journey into the microscopic world within us, our DNA. Specifically the human genome, a three billion letter code that dictates everything about us. Now imagine trying to type out this entire code. Let's say you're a real speed demon on the keyboard, clocking in a cool 60 words per minute. You dedicate yourself to this task eight hours a day, every single day. You think you'd finish any time soon? Think again. It would take you, a masterful typist, roughly 50 years to type out the human genome. That's right, five decades of non-stop typing, just to capture the blueprint of a single human being. It really puts into perspective the sheer volume of information encoded within us. It's astounding, isn't it? This incredible amount of information packed into every cell, dictating everything from the colour of your eyes to your predisposition to certain diseases. And we're only just beginning to unravel its secrets. This incredible feat of biological engineering underscores the complexity and wonder of life itself. And it reminds us that the greatest mysteries often lie hidden within us, waiting to be discovered. Infinity isn't just one thing. There are different sizes of infinity. Prepare to have your mind blown. The set of all positive whole numbers is infinite. Now, consider the set of all real numbers. It's a bigger infinity. How can one infinity be bigger? We can pair whole numbers with real numbers, but more real numbers remain. It's like fitting an ocean into a teacup. Georg Cantor discovered this concept. Multiple infinities have profound implications for our universe. From the tiniest atom to the vast cosmic web, the universe is brimming with mind-blowing wonders, and the more we learn, the more we realise how much more there is to discover.
Thanks for joining me on this incredible journey through the cosmos of knowledge. If you enjoyed these mind-blowing facts, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. Remember, keep looking up, keep questioning and never stop exploring the universe around us. Until next time, friends.